What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to do graph embeddings in Python, which is how you turn graphs into n-dimensional representations that you can then use for machine learning and data science. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn about graph embeddings in this video today. And as I mentioned, they're super important for machine learning, for data science, because graphs are just graphs. We have nodes and edges. But if we want to use them as the input, for example, to a machine learning model, if we want to feed a graph into a neural network for certain tasks, for example, link prediction or something like that, we need to have a representation that is in the proper format. We need to have that graph embedded into an n-dimensional space. So we can say, for example, take this graph and fit the individual nodes into two dimensions so that we have coordinates X and Y for the individual nodes, or maybe into 10 dimensions, into 100 dimensions, up to you. But we have to have something that we can then, as a NumPy array, for example, feed into a neural network. That's the basic idea of graph embedding, and this is what we're going to learn about today. For this, we're going to use the Network X Python library, which I recently made a video on. It's the go-to library for graph theory for working with graphs and networks. Uh, we're also going to use Karate Club to use DeepWalk, which is a popular graph embedding algorithm. Um, I'm not going to explain the theory too much. I'm just going to show you how to use it here. You can look up the paper. Hopefully, I'm going to link it in the description down below. And we're going to use the basic stuff like NumPy and Matplotlib. So if you want to do all the, if you want to install all the libraries, you need to say pip install and then Karate Club Network X. NumPy and matplotlib. In my case, I already have those, so I'm not gonna um, install them here. And then we're going to just import NumPy as np. Oh, sorry. NumPy as np network x s n x import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then we're going to also say from karate club dot node embedding dot neighborhood dot deep walk import deep walk. All right. Um, so those are the imports. And now what we want to do is want to create a simple graph. And I'm not going to come up with a graph myself, I'm going to just generate a random one. So nx dot uh, random tree, let's say we want to have a random tree. And we want to have 40 nodes in that tree. So 40 individual nodes connected by edges. Um, and we can then go ahead and say plt dot uh, draw spring, uh, actually not plt, sorry, nx dot draw spring of the graph and then plt dot show to see what this looks like. And we're going to see that in a second here, this is the graph. And this is not something that we can just take and feed into a neural network, we cannot just take the I mean, we could take the adjacency matrix, but that's not the optimal way to do it. Um, we don't have embeddings for the nodes, we cannot treat the nodes as individual data points in a certain shape, we cannot have a uh, three dimensional array that contains information about the individual nodes and notes about their location in space. And this is what we need graph embedding for we want to embed these nodes, the individual nodes uh, into an n dimensional space. How do we do that quite simply with deep walk. Now the theory is not as simple as the implementation, but the implementation is just deep walk equals and then we use the deep walk constructor and we provide the number of dimensions. So for example, I'm going to start with two so that we can visualize the results. And uh, then we can say that we want to fit deep walk onto our graph G so it's compatible with network x. And then we can say that the embeddings are going to be equal to deep walk dot get embedding. So we get the embedding of the deep walk algorithm. And then we can just say plt scatter. And then embeddings. Actually, I think embedding with without the s is the proper way to call this the embedding, we're going to get everything from zero. So basically, the first position of each node and the second position of each node, we're going to scatter this. Actually, let's keep this. Like that so that we have both. And then basically, if I didn't make any mistakes, this Oh, what happened here now? What the hell happened here? <laughs> Why are they all, all connected now to themselves? Maybe because something was changed about the graph when running deep walk. So let's print it up here or show it up here. 
Uh, that's the graph. And if we take it and embed it now into two dimensional space, those are the data points. And we can also print the embedding. We can also see what this actually looks like. This is what we would feed as a NumPy array into a neural network. So this down here, those are the coordinates uh, in the two dimensional space in this case. Now we can also go with three dimensional visualization. Uh, above that, it's going to be difficult because we cannot visualize more than three dimensions, at least not, not intuitively. Um, so if I say three dimensions, all I need to change here is I need to say, uh, the figure is going to be PLT figure. And it's going to have a figure size of let's say 15 and eight. And then I'm going to say the axis is going to be figure add a subplot. The projection is going to be three dimensional. And then instead of doing PLT scatter, I'm going to do axis scatter and I'm going to add the third dimension here as well. That should then result in a three dimensional visualization of the of the graph embedding. And it does you can see now every every point every node has three coordinates. And now I can also interactively look at the embedding here in matplotlib. This is quite cool. Uh, but of course, you can also use more dimensions. So you can go ahead and say I want to have a 50 dimensional embedding, then it's going to be hard to visualize it, but we can just delete that we don't need to visualize it. Uh, if that's what you need for your neural network, you can just do that you can say, okay, I want to have this as a 50 dimensional uh, embedding, and then you're going to have 50 coordinates. That's it. So this is how you take a graph and turn it into a format that can be used for machine learning. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.